Hello, everyone. Now, let's check this live case study from Peru. Um, so this is one uh, DF user from the South Africa, South America. And let's try to power on the drive. And we can see uh, this is a COM terminal. We can try to enter F3T prompt, but failed. Cannot enter F3T prompt. So for this kind of drive, what we can do to enter F3T prompt? And we can see this drive is undetected. And let's check now, power off, power on, and keep pressing F3T prompt. And until the drive get ready, we keep pressing the Control Z to enter F3T prompt. Now uh, we can try to back up the angelist. Here we have read the angelist 35, 3 and read and then right click export and we have saved the angelist here in the SOS folder and this is the angelist. So after we have back up this angelist, we can try to check within the COM terminal and we can try to clear V4 and then we can view the V4 zero, view the engineist entries and we can see there are totally uh, 42 entries here. Next, we will uh, regenerate the translator. Now let's regenerate this translator and see what will be the result. And for the 3F family, we, we can check this is a family name. 3F and the T H A R A O H. So this is a family name. Now we can wait a little bit and see if the transcendental regeneration uh, runs smoothly. Okay, now the transcendental regeneration completes. We can try to control. Uh, T and we can try to check the data arrow. So after transfer regeneration we can see the drive is now uh, detected properly and its capacity is correct. Now we can check the ending part of LBA to see if the ending part of data arrow is accessible or not. Now we start logical scan. Now right now we can see that the, it's red. This means these sectors are not accessible. So we can try to change the start LBA to five and we can try to see the middle part of LBA to see if they are accessible or not. So still locked. So at this time, we can try to see the engineist entries. So there are 42 before the transcendental regeneration. Now we can try to check the V4 zero again. So the entries keeps the same, but usually for engine is to containing uh, a large number of entries so we can try to clear entries and regenerate the translator again so we can go to the defects management menu non resident genist this is angelist so we clear angelist by AT mode and see Now we go to the COM terminal to V4 zero to view the engineist. Now we see zero entries now. Uh, 
uh, we can try to clear clears before and then we regenerate this translator again now we can see it's fast now and we view the interest after the translator regeneration and to confirm the interest number okay we can view the interest again now we can see it's still zero so at this time we can try to enter the data arrow to check if the ending part of sectors are accessible a lot now so these arrows they are not accessible but we have dealt with the engineist now we can see that the data arrow is accessible now so that means the entries within the engineist are not the original entries so we need to clear the entries and then regenerate the translator so this means we have fixed this drive and the lost data will be back. We can go to the DFLC panel and then we can try to enter the DFL DDP data recovery software program. So this is SATA2. So we just select the SATA2 channel and click the DDP. So this is SATA2 DDP data recovery software. We can try the new project. So uh, click next and file extraction. Now we can see that these are the lost partitions. All the lost partitions have been back. And users just need to click the lost partitions and click the root. And we can see that all the lost folders and files have been recovered. So users can select the wanted folders and files and right click recover selected files. So this means 100% data recovery for this undetected drive.